They are striking, proud, cultured, and African. Their women are drop-dead gorgeous and elegant, and their men are brave and handsome. Meet the Fulani, the largest nomadic group in the world, with an estimated 20 to 25 million people. Hello and welcome to Afortista Films. Today, we're going to be talking about the Fulani people of Africa. The Fulani, also known as the Fula or Fulbi, are a diverse ethnic group that can be found in several West African countries, including Nigeria, Guinea, Senegal, and Mali. The Fulani people have a rich history and culture that has been shaped by centuries of migration and interaction with other ethnic groups. They are primarily Muslim and have a strong tradition of Islamic scholarship. Many Fulani are also involved in pastoralism, raising cattle and other livestock. The Fulani are a mixed people. Even though an origin in the central Sahara has been suggested on archaeological grounds, it has been found that the contemporary Fulani have a predominantly West African genetic background combined with North African and Trace European ancestry fractions. <laughs> One thing I found beautiful in the Fulani women is their curly flowing jet black hair. The secret is the traditional hair products that they regularly apply to their hair which creates a beautiful sheen that is the envy of many. The Wudabe are one of the most prominent Fulani subgroups. They are known for their beauty, both men and women, elaborate attire, and rich cultural ceremonies. At the end of the rainy season in September, Wudabe clans gather in several traditional locations before the beginning of their dry season transhumance migration. Here, the young Wodabi men with elaborate makeup, feathers, and other adornments perform the Yaiki, dances, and psalms to impress marriageable women. The male beauty ideal of the Wodaabi stresses tallness, white eyes, and teeth. The men will often roll their eyes and show their teeth to emphasize these characteristics. Wodaabi clans then join for the remainder of the week-long Garawal, a series of barters over marriage and contests where the young men's beauty and skills are judged by young women. One of the most unique aspects of Fulani culture is their traditional system of governance, known as the Fulani Emirate. This system is based on a hierarchical system of leaders, with a central figure known as the Emir at the top. These leaders are chosen based on their wealth, prestige, and reputation for wisdom and fairness. Fulani people also have a rich tradition of oral history and storytelling. They have a strong tradition of epic poetry, which is passed down from generation to generation. These stories often tell of the Fulani people's history and culture, as well as their interactions with other ethnic groups.
Kulai people also have a strong tradition of art and craftsmanship. This includes intricate leather work, beadwork, and metalwork. Their traditional clothing is also very colorful and intricate. Despite their rich culture, the Fulani people have faced many challenges in recent years. One of the biggest challenges has been the ongoing conflict in Nigeria, which has displaced many Fulani communities. Additionally, many Fulani people have been forced to give up their traditional way of life due to the expansion of agriculture and other land use changes. Despite these challenges, the Fulani people have shown remarkable resilience and determination to preserve their culture and traditions. They continue to make valuable contributions to the societies in which they live, and their culture remains a vital and vibrant part of Africa's heritage. In conclusion, the Fulani people are a diverse and resilient ethnic group with a rich history and culture. They have made a significant impact on the societies in which they live and continue to do so. They are a testament to the resilience of Africa's diverse cultures and heritages. Thank you for watching. For more informative videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to our Fortista Films. See you in the next one.